Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Mardan Adni. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn some basic terminology about polar coordinates in polar integral. We will also learn how we can transform a Cartesian integral into polar integral. So first of all, what is a polar coordinate system? A polar coordinate is a system used to locate points in two-dimension plane. A point in polar coordinate is represented by r and theta, where r is the distance of the point from the origin, and theta is the angle measured counterclockwise from positive x-axis. In this diagram, we have a two-dimensional plane. P is a point whose coordinates are r and theta. Now, what is r? r is the distance of this point from the origin, and theta is the angle measured in counterclockwise direction with positive x-axis. Now, these are the transformation equations through which we can transform a Cartesian coordinate system into polar coordinate system, x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta, and these are the reverse equations, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, and theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x. Now, what is a polar integral? On the left hand side, you can see a polar integral is written in general form, double integral over the region r, f of r of theta, dA. So, in polar integral, we have a function of two variables, r and theta. dA is a small patch of the region. Here, for example, this is our region. Then, in order to calculate this integral, we will use dA as r dr d theta. Please remember, in Cartesian coordinate system, we can choose dA as dx dy or dA as dy dx. But in polar coordinate system, we will use dA as r dr d theta always. This order is fixed in polar coordinate system. Now, since r is our inner variable, so limits of inner variable may be constant, may be variable, but the limits of outer variable are always constant. Now, in order to calculate limits of r, we will use arrow technique, and for this purpose, we will pass an arrow through our region. But in polar coordinates, our arrow starts from origin, like this. The point through which this arrow or the point through which or the boundary through which this arrow enters our region will provide us the lower limit of r and the point or boundary through which this arrow exits our region will provide us the upper limit of r. So here r, r is equal to g1 of theta is a lower limit because our arrow enters through this boundary and exits through this boundary. So r is equal to g2 of theta is our upper limit. So limits of r are g1 of theta to g2 of theta. Now in order to calculate limits of outer variable theta, we will calculate the starting angle of the region and the ending angle of the region in counterclockwise direction with positive x-axis. In this example, the starting point of the angle or the, or the starting angle of the region is here as alpha. And the ending angle of the region is here as beta. So the limits of theta are alpha to beta. After knowing these basic things, we must know what is an equation of circle looks like. Now, the equation of circle is in general form is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square, where the center of the circle is ab and radius is r. Now, if we take AB equal to 0, means we shift the center of circle at origin, then equation number 1 can be represented as x square plus y square is equal to r square. Equation number 2 is equation of circle whose center is at origin and radius is r. Now, if we solve this equation for x, then we have equation number 3 and 4. And if we solve this equation for y, we have equation number 5 and 6. In the next steps, we will learn which of the which part of the circle is represented by equation number 3 4 5 and 6 now x is equal to minus square root of r square minus y square is a semicircle in the left half plane or a semicircle in second and third quadrant x is equal to square root of r square minus y square is is a circle semicircle in the right half plane or a circle in first and fourth quadrant. Y is equal to square root of r square minus x square is a semicircle in the upper half plane or in first and second quadrant. Y is equal to minus square root of r square minus x square 
is a semicircle in the lower half plane or in third and fourth quadrant. So after knowing this, these basic things, now we are able that we can solve this problem. This is question number 12 from exercise 15.4 Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. Now, in order to convert this Cartesian integral into polar integral, we have to plot the region of integration. And in order to plot the region of integration, we need the boundaries and these boundaries are obtained from the limiting value of the variables. The limits of x is minus a and plus a. Now, x equal to minus a and x equal to plus a is equation of vertical line. x equal to minus a is equation of vertical line, which passes the point where the value of x is minus a along x-axis. And x equal to a is equation of vertical line, where the value of x is taken as a along positive x-axis. Now, y is equal to minus square root of a square minus x square is equation of semicircle in the lower half plane with center at origin and radius a. And y is equal to square root of a square minus x square is equation of semicircle in the upper half plane with center at origin and radius a. In the next step, we will plot these boundaries. Since x axis and y axis are not involved in my boundaries, so I have made them with dotted lines. This is origin, this is x-axis, y-axis. Next, I will I have marked these points a and minus a. x equal to a is a vertical line. x equal to minus a is a second vertical line. Now, the, the semicircle in the lower half plane and the semicircle in upper half plane will provide us a complete circle with radius a. So, we will get a complete circle with the help of third and fourth boundary. Now, the region of integration is this whole circle. After calculating the region of integration, we will convert this Cartesian integral into an equivalent polar integral. For this purpose, we will replace, or we have replaced dy dx with r dr d theta. Now, in order to calculate limits of r, we will use arrow technique. We will pass an arrow from origin to the outer boundary of the region. Please note that in this case, center is involved in our region. So, the distance of center from itself is 0. So, lower limit of r is 0. And the upper limit of r is calculated from this boundary of circle. Now, the distance of each point of the boundary of the circle from the origin is equal to a. You can calculate it at any point because the basic definition of circle is it is the locus of a point whose distance from a fixed point is always remain constant. So, limits of r are 0 to a. a is the radius of circle. Now, for complete circle, we have one complete rotation in counterclockwise direction. So, the starting angle of this region with positive x axis is 0. So, lower limit of theta is 0. And after complete rotation, we will come back here. So, we have traced an angle of 360 degree, which is equal to 2 pi. So, the upper limit of theta is 2 pi. In the next step, we will evaluate this integral. In order to evaluate this integral, you must know these two formulas. The integration of r is carried out with the help of first formula. Limit from 0 to a r dr d theta. Integrating this, we get r squared over 2 for the limit 0 to a. In the next step, applying the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we have replaced r with a. And for lower limit, we have replaced r with 0. So, upper limit minus lower limit by fundamental theorem of calculus. And then, a squared over 2 is constant. We can take it outside. And we have a squared over 2 limit from 0 to 2 pi d theta. Now, we will apply second formula here. So, the integration, in order to integrate it, the value of k is 1 and we can take theta equal to x. So, that its integration is theta only for the given limits. a square over 2 theta from limit 0 to 2 pi. Applying the limits, upper limit minus lower limit, we get 2 pi. 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. So, our answer is pi into a square. I hope you have understand this concept. Please like, subscribe and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.